Hey you guys, how goes it? How's your morning? Mine was a little all over the place. Um, it's one of those mornings when you get triggered and tell me if you get triggered easily. I um, Most of the time I don't really get triggered so easily anymore, but sometimes it really gets under my skin. So when I do get triggered, I get down into this spiral of anxiety and depression and it, you know, it used to take me sometimes days, sometimes weeks to get out of it, but now I'm getting much, much better. So um, like right now, I'm being triggered. There's multiple things that happened this morning that just got under my skin. So what we're gonna do today, our usual, those of you who are new, and um, I'm a little late, like usually I come on at 10, you know, so I'm 10 minutes late, so we're gonna go 10 extra minutes. Hey there, um, if you're new to this life and you're like, what is this whole self-love routine? We're going to have the explanations for you soon. First of all, I'm going to make a video with those steps of what to do. You can bookmark it. I'm going to disable comments so you can go in there and you can actually watch it and do it on your own. Two, we're going to update my link tree in my bio. So all of these questions you go like, how do I buy your books? Or how do I join your free circle this Saturday? How do I do this? How do I do that? It's all going to be in there. And then three, my schedule. Because you keep asking like, you know, when are you going live? So I'm live here every day. 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific time, 9 to 10 p.m. Pacific time work days. And then on Saturdays, I'm hosting a free circle on Zoom. So basically, we get together as a group on Zoom, like here, but on Zoom, right? And Sunday as I kind of take off. Um, yeah, and then the other thing, the other two things is, tell me if the video that I posted was useful. It's about overthinking. You asked me for it. And the second one, usually I ask you for a list of videos you want me to make. Like, what do you want me to make? So maybe we'll make a link and like submissions where you can actually go and say, you know, here's what I want the link about and vote for it. So, um, oh, hey, hey, lovely. Say I'm overthinking all negative feelings are my lifestyle. I know. No shit. Like mine overthinking is also fucking, it would drive me bananas, you guys. Like tell me your story, but man, I could go into a grocery store and it could take me hours. I could stand in front of an aisle and thinking like, what cereal to get my kids? And I would be locked into this. Well, I should go this. No, no, I should do this. Well, maybe, but this is cheaper. But this, I still have that, but usually it takes me only five minutes to snap out of it. But it was excruciating. It was, it was debilitating. It was just like, I can't, I, I didn't feel like a normal human being. You know what I mean? Like it was just I don't know. You can relate, right? Can you relate to the same thing? Anybody here who's doing the overthinking? Are you still struggling with overthinking? That's what I made the video. That's you, Sebastian. I know. Fucking sucks, doesn't it? And then other people don't understand you. They're like, can you make a decision? Can't you decide? And why do you spend so much time? You know what was the other thing that I did, you guys? It took me hours to get dressed. Anybody in here in the same problem? I would open up the closet and I would get paralyzed. Like, should I wear this? Mm, no, but this doesn't match with that. And well, what about this underwear? But it doesn't match the socks. But oh, maybe I should go wash this. But this is dirty. But 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 but, and it, right? And so, oh, you're not lone, guys. Oh my God. Hey, we need to slav slap ma hair con three three three. What is your name? Do you see the comment? crying right now. It feels like the loneliest person on earth. My parents don't care. They get no time. Hey, we all care. Okay. We are your new family, your new TikTok family. Everybody, please send love to, uh, do you see the comment? My heck con 333. You're not alone. Look at all of us together. We're here for you. Okay. We are your new family. By the way, guys, this is what you can show to your family and abusers. Everybody turned away from you, so fuck them. They don't deserve you, and they didn't deserve you in the first place. We're here together to care for each other. We care. We love each other. I love you. You love me. I get you. You get me. I see you. You see me. I hear you. You hear me. I understand you. You understand me. I believe you, and you believe me, and that's all that fucking matters. That is all that matters, okay? Yeah, we got your back. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're here, okay? We are together. This is why. If you want to see us together in the same room, please go register for this Saturday. Link is in my bio. And we're going to meet on Zoom. And we're going to do this together. Self-love exercise. You are amazing, okay? You guys all are amazing. Yes. Well, 
you know what? Your family is not really your family. If you have a family that's blood family and they're not caring for you, well then fuck them. They're not your family. Just because they're blood related to you does not make them your family, okay? You make up your own family. And you guys are my inspiration. The fact that you're showing up here, I'm humbled and honored and I love you so much because you keep me going. Like I'm doing this for you right now. I had a shitty morning and I almost broke down just about five minutes ago, but I'm here for you because when I talk to you and you talk back to me, I know we're together in it. That's all that matters. Like I can talk to you for a whole day, except that I tried it once for five hours straight and my voice broke down. So I couldn't do it anymore. Right? So this is all that matters. So we're going to do this today. Uh, absolutely. You're welcome. Again, you are not alone. If anybody in here feels lonely, guys, please follow each other. Send each other direct messages. Send each other love. Say, hey, I'm here with you. You're not alone. I love you. And then look at you. Look at all the comments. Oh, you need coffee. <laughs> yeah, go get coffee. Sometimes you hold on to a cup of coffee. It's the only friend you have, right? A cup of coffee. Or sometimes I'd hold on to a book, you know, like books were my only friends. So I'd hold on to a book because a book would be like my family and my friend and the explanation of all the life, especially when I was a kid, because I didn't understand what was going on. Like why the uh, people in my family abused me. Like, why did they hurt me? People who were supposed to care for me. Why did they hurt me? I could not understand that. So, um, are you guys ready to do the self-love exercise? Give me, give me a thumbs up. Give me hands up. Um, I know those of you who are new, you're like, what are we doing here? I don't know. But those of you who have been here before, you know the drill. So who is new and who needs the explanation? Who has been here before and you know what we're doing? The daily self-love practice. Oh, hi. Greetings from Algiers, Algeria. That's awesome. Hey, what's your name? If you're, telling, if you're new, tell us your name. If you're comfortable telling your name. Okay? And you're shiny right back. Okay? Tell us your name, the city you're from, and the country. An explanation. You need explain. You're new. Okay. Uh, Ramsha is here. Ramsha. Okay, you're new as well. Ramsha is here who's our social, doing social media for us. So she will explain to you and all the steps of what we're doing is going to be in my bio. But until then, I'm going to keep explaining it on the Cairo, Egypt. Right on. Sören, Berlin, Germany? What? I, I spreche Deutsch ein bisschen. I used to live in Berlin. Ich lebte in Berlin when I was a teenager from like, uh, I, I was there when the Berlin Wall fell. Oh, new hi from Georgia. Egypt. Oh, guys, you're two. Both of you are from Egypt, Cairo. Connect. Connect Istanbul, Turkey. I was in Turkey in um oh shit. I can't remember the city where I was where I was. Northern Illinois, right on. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for catching me live. I know, right? I lived there for four years in Karlshorst. Do you know Karlshorst? Uh, under Nachhirstrasse? That was the street where I lived on. Victoria from Texas, Tunisia. Oh, Munir, hold on. Munir Munir Dalgiers. Dalgiers. Oh, shit. Am I saying it correctly? Hi, Egypt. Guys, three people from Egypt. Ukraine. Привет. Из Москвы, из России. Привет, ребята. Откуда вы? Откуда из Москвы? Скажите мне. Kona, Hawaii. Moscow, Russia. West Virginia. Hell yeah. I can talk three languages, you guys. I can. Oh, Hamburg. Hamburg. Uh, God, I forgot. You know, I forgot my German. Scotland, Glasgow, Poland. Yay. Coxhorst, yes, I was there for uh, four years. I went there once to visit my, you know, this is where I grew up in my teen years in Berlin. Who else? Uh, how do you say in German, how are you? I fucking forgot. Uh, Brooklyn, New York. Um, yeah, there's a couple people from Russia. Guys, I'm from Russia, from Moscow originally, so I can tell. Baku! Привет, здорово, it's Baku. Um, if you can speak Russian... You can ask me questions in Russian. I can talk in Russian too. You know what I was thinking of recording videos? And at the end, just say, Oh, we gates, dear. Yeah, that's right. We gates. Ah, uh, schön. Or no, not schön. Good. Good. <laughs> I forgot. But I'll... Hi from England. We're from England. I've never been. I want to go. I want to go. Ready your couch. Alabama. Right on. Right on. Of course, I'm trying to reply to every comment. Ontario. Yeah, Canada. Holy shit. Yes, please. <laughs> Munir is like, please remember, 
Please remember what this life is about. Okay. Oh, ich bin gut, danke. Danke schön, bitte schön. I remember those. Uh, I'm not really... My, my German is really rusty, you guys, but I can pick it up. Um, okay. Oh, Midlands in Warwickshire. Warwickshire? I just bloody love British names, like, like English names for all the places. They're so fantastic. So, okay, good. Are you guys ready? Everybody is settled. I know new people who are going to be coming in. Just be quiet, kind of like you're stepping into the room and there's shit going on already. So just listen, okay? And shh, yeah, Miss Germany. So we're going to do our daily self-love exercise. Do I have... Uh, yes, yes, the energy here is fucking fantastic. That's why I want you to come to Zoom on Saturday. It's the same as here, except we get to see each other on camera Let's go. Okay, I got one, two, Essex, UK, right on. Two people want to do it? Who else? Raise your hand, especially those of you who are new. You're like, what the fuck are we doing? We're doing daily self-love practice. I'll explain to you why. If you want to play piano really well, you got to practice every day playing piano, right? About one to two hours. And then in about 10 to 12 years, you get really good. I want to ask you a question. Hi, North Carolina. How many hours per day as a child did you practice self-love? I want some answers. This is my answer. Third day of doing it. Those of you who already know, this is for new people. How many hours per day did you practice self-love as a child? The new people, please type. Yeah. 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 And why do you think you don't love yourself? Yeah. Exactly. This is what we're here for. Do you get that? Yeah. Never. As a child. That's my point. If you want to get bloody fucking awesome at playing piano and be on the stage and give a concert with everybody's just falling over and applauding because you're a fucking genius. Yeah. So how do you get to love yourself if you don't practice? This is what we're here for. Because I didn't. I hated myself most of my life. I hated my face. It reminded me of my parents, of my abusers. I hated my body because my body suffered sexual abuse. And I hated it because somehow I felt it was guilty. My body was guilty because it couldn't protect me because I was a little girl and I was weak. I hated my speech. You know, guys, that I'm talking. Sometimes you watch my videos. Do you see how I stumble? I actually had impediment, speech impediment that I fought. The way I speak right now really fast, I couldn't do it. Oh, I hated the way I spoke. I couldn't, I couldn't be in public. I hated the way I dressed. I hated the way I moved. Like there was, I, I mean, I just hated everything about myself. Everybody is in the same. You guys, can you relate? I know most of you can relate. Those of us who have been abused, you just hate your life. You hate yourself, hate your life. You can't take love because you don't know how to love yourself, right? So this is what we're going to do today is we're going to, this is like a safe scream room. Your safe place. Yeah, self-hatred is tasking. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Guys, Ramsha. Do you see Ramsha? Uh, Ramsha, just tell everybody. Hi, I'm Ramsha. So Ramsha, uh, my company is called Emberville. This is a community where we get together. We do this every day. Like what we're doing now here, but we do it on Zoom every day, multiple times with people just like you all over the world. So Ramsha is doing social media for us. So she's here to help. Okay, so there is five steps. Number one, hey, look at that. All follow Ramsha because you can ask her questions and direct messages. We're going to be writing, okay? We're going to be rewriting the story of your life pretty much. But right now, we're going to be rewriting the shit that you're in right now. And you're going to take your power back. I'll show you how it works. I'm not talking out of my ass. This is not some magic bullshit. You will see it. I will read your stories right here live and you will see exactly what it does, okay? It's amazing. So, five steps. Go grab your notebook and a pen or something, okay? Or open up a Word doc, you know, anywhere you can write. Tell me when you're ready and I'm going to give you the steps one by one. You guys ready? Did you get your writing ready? It can be your iPad, it can be your phone, if you can type at the same time. It can be, uh, you know, it can be a piece of paper because you can take a picture of it and send it to me as a piece of paper. When you're done with your story, you're going to be sending it to my email, uh, stories at emberville.com. It's in my bio. Just tell me you're ready. Are you ready? Okay, we're ready. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Five steps. Number one, I want you to write down number one and then write out one sentence of a shitty situation you're in right now. Like, for example, 
my boyfriend is gaslighting me, or my mom is verbally abusing me, or my ex-husband is trying to take my children away from me, or blah, blah, blah. Write down this one sentence, just one, of a shitty situation you're in, and I want you to type it in here, any volunteers, to type it up, uh, because I'm going to be writing it down myself just as an example. I'm going to use one as an example. Go. Start commenting here with this your one sentence shitty situation you're in, and also write it down in your document. Go. Just start typing. One sentence. It can't be long. Just one sentence. Start typing. Come on. Step one. Number one. And type one sentence. Anxiety feels like I'm going to die. Okay, we got one. Keep going. Keep going. Just put it down one sentence. Guys, one sentence. My sister is verbally abusing me. No one is accepting me the way I am who I am. I'm living with in-laws. I don't have any friends. I'm broke. Yes, it counts. Okay, keep going. Keep going. One sentence. I hate my living situation. I want my own place. Can't get over my love of my toxic ex. Go, 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 go. Have a shadow stuck on me. Tell it, oh, my father is ignoring me. My dad... My dad isn't caring at all what he's doing with mental health. Keep going. Losing control. Keep going. My love cheats on me. I've been in home for too long and one contact. My ex is trying to take my daughter out of spite. Okay, keep going. Keep going. My love cheats on me. Okay, I'm going to pick my lover cheats on me. My lover cheats on me. I'm already my toxic family. I have severe anxiety. I'm too scared to pursue my goals. What am I supposed to do? That's a great one, right? Which is like, well, fuck. Everything is so fucked up. What am I supposed to do? I'm disabled and it can't work and I want to be better. Life seems difficult. Okay, are we done? Tell me, guys, when you're done. Is everybody done typing up their one sentence? Remember, you're typing it as a comment, but you're also writing it down like here. See, I wrote down one and I wrote down one sentence. My siblings won't believe I was abused. Oh my God, I'm with you. Sister, same happened to me. You didn't get the instructions. Please ask Ramsha. Ramsha will type up the instructions. Are you guys done? We're moving to the point number two. I feel stuck and I will never find happiness. Okay, cool. We're done. Guys, we're moving on to step two. Start. Stop typing. I got that. Make sure that you wrote it down. We got to move forward fast because, you know, there's a lot of people here and I want to read most of the stories. Step number two. Pick a new name for yourself. It cannot be your name. Pick a new name. I'll explain why later. It can be something awesome, like a really awesome name you always wanted to have, or like you can call yourself the Empress of the World or Goddess of the Universe or whatever. Yeah, Ramsha, can you please, Joycey Cross? Ramsha, do you see Joycey Cross? Uh, can you please give Joycey step one? Okay, guys, step two, pick a new name for yourself. Start typing, Lunar Moon, okay? Start typing. Lunar moon. We got lunar moon. What else? Who else? Pick a name for yourself. Pick a name. Pick a name. Pick a name. Pick a name. It has to be awesome. Something that makes you be that person. Want Makes you want to be that person. Rip. Hazel. Oh, Lila. Lila. Tamale. Wolfgang. That's a cool one. Austin. Uh, Tamaki. Lone Wolf. Cheryl. Con I love Lone Wolf. Bloom. Bloom is beautiful. Emirate of or Jewels. Beautiful. Maria. Amir. Superstar. Yes. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Keep going. Are we done? Rip the warrior. I love that. Warrior. Sophia. Okay, guys, those of you who've done this before, if you want, you can stick with the same name from yesterday. Okay. Be, uh, ocean. Yes, ocean. I remember we had ocean before, didn't we? Sapphire. That's beautiful. Okay. Warrior. We got another warrior, you guys. We're all warriors. That's cool. Okay, tell me when you're done. Ophelia. Unstoppable. Unstoppable is awesome. Okay, great. The adept. Queen Bee. Yes, Queen Bee. That's great. Soul Surfer. Soul Surfer. That is fucking fantastic. I love that. Okay, okay, we're done. Okay, we're done, guys. Keep, stop, stop typing. Make sure you put it in here. So I'm going to do Soul Surfer. I'm just going to pick Soul Surfer as an example or Survivor. Okay, Survivor is a good one. Stop, stop, stop. Step number three. Number one, you have written one sentence of the shitty situation you're in right now. Number two, you have written down your new name. Oh, I've never seen Soul Surfer. Is it? Okay, I'm, guys, I'm living under a rock apparently. I don't know. I don't know who I am. Oh, or let me say Warrior or Survivor. Okay, step number three, you guys. Are you ready? Step three, you pick a name for the person who is hurting you. 
in that shitty life situation you're in. Like, my lover cheats on me, pick a new name for your lover, right? Or when you, if you said, uh, I, I, I don't know what to do with my life or how to make money or anything like that, when you think of that sentence, think who in your life has prevented you from achieving what you want. There's one person who shit on you the most. Pick a new name for themselves. Yes, monster, rotten. Give it a name that is awful. That is just like, you know, cunt or motherfucker or uh, I don't know, stupid bulls or trash mouth. Go for it. Demon. Yo buzz devil. Okay, that's great. I don't know what that means, but that sounds very much like swearing in Russian. Uh, witch. Manipulator. Great. Manipulator. Witch. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Manipulator. Diablo. Onion. Yes. Sheet. Okay, great. Bullied. Sludge. Manipulator. Wit. Uh, keep going. Manipul another manipulator. We got another forgiver. Is Royce behind you? <laughs> no, not right here. No. Uh, Red Queen. Yes. Or somebody bloody. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Baba Yaga. Yes, Baba Yaga. <laughs> men child. I think we had men child before. Yobaz means close minded in Turkish. I love that. Potatoes head. I absolutely love you so much back. Witch of Seraph. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, but what if you still love them? That's okay. You can, you just have to pick a new name. It cannot, if it's Johnny, say it's Bobby. If it's Elizabeth, say it's Catherine. You got it? It has to be a new name. Again, I'll explain later. Are you, are we guys done? Do we have the three? Step three? Is everybody done? Soul suckers. Yes. Okay. If we're done, we're going to move on to step four. Are you guys done? We're going to move on to step four. Vile. Yeah. Okay. Stop commenting. Stop, 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 stop. We're going to move on to the next step. Just make sure you wrote it down. Okay. Step four and five are something you don't write down. Not yet. Okay, so you just do step four and five. It's empty. Do you see four and five is empty? I need you to not write right now. I need you to not comment. Listen right now. This is really important. These are the two most important steps. And I need you to get, do it correctly. Because if you do it correctly, it will blow your fucking brains out. What you're going to see today. So step number four. The shitty situation that you wrote down, this one sentence. I need you to exaggerate and make it violent. Okay, listen again. The situation that you wrote down, I need you to exaggerate and make it violent so that it is very bodily visceral. You can't say somebody just yelled at you. You have to exaggerate it like in the movie. I'll explain. So we're going to use this as an example. My lover cheats on me. Okay, so the real life situation is my lover cheats on me. The exaggeration is I came home my lover was fucking my neighbor and as soon as he saw me he got off her grabbed a shoe and started beating me on my face until i collapsed in my own blood do you got that did you get that everybody and an example if an example is i want to be better i don't know what to do with my life then the way you exaggerate it is you know, I'm sitting, minding my own business, having breakfast, and the person who shit most on you in your life comes in and says, you don't know what the fuck to do with your life. You're sick. You're stupid. And, and, and I, wish I, I wish you were never born. And they pick up a, a frying pan and, you know, knock you on the head. Did you get it? You got it? Yes. Make it dramatic. Very intense. Very intense. Exaggerate. This is not reality, guys. We are rewriting reality. By the way, this is not journal writing. Okay? This is not. Did you get step four? I need to show of hands. Don't write anything down yet. This is in your head. Do not write it down yet. You got it? Is everybody on the same page? You guys got step four? I just need to hear that you got step four. Because the step five is the most important one. Okay, we got it. Okay, great. Okay, great. Step four. Five, don't write anything down yet. Please look at me again. This is the most important step. You're going to rewrite the story of your life. You're literally going to fucking change reality. Are you ready for this? Step five, in the real life situation, you don't have an ending. In the real life situation, the person comes in and abuses you. Again, I'm using an example. My lover cheat on me. That's real life. 
The exaggerated version is you walk in at home, you literally walk in on your lover having sex with somebody else or maybe there's multiple people, him jumping off, grabbing some weapon, maybe a vase with flowers and like carving your face, right? So in real life, you were never able to go back and, you know, tell your ex or your lover what you thought of them or get back at them. You're going to change the ending. In step five, guess what? After he carves your face, you take that vase and you say, who do you think you are, motherfucker? You know, you take, you get this power back, right? And you carve his face back. Basically, you get back at them for everything they've done to you. You tell them everything you always wanted to tell them. And for the first time in your life, you hurt them the way you always wanted to hurt them. You got it? Justice. This is your safe justice. Did you guys get it? Did you get step five? You're not. This is shake. Yeah, exactly. Do you guys got it? Step five. It's the most important step. You're going to change reality because your brain doesn't know the difference. I'm going to explain why you change the ending. Yes. Okay. You got it. Great. Now, are you ready? Look, this is what you have to have. Step one, real life situation. Step two, your new name. Step three, the name of the, your abuser that's new. Four and five are empty. Guys, four and five are empty. Then you draw a line and now you're going to write what happened. Okay? But not about you. Yes, you're rewriting the truth. You're writing about this person. So warrior, to use an example, you write about warrior and the manipulator, for example, right? So warrior is, I don't know, warrior is grocery shopping. She comes home and the manipulator is fucking like three neighbors at once. And she's like, what the fuck, dude? Right? And then he goes at her and she's like, well, fuck you. And she goes back at him. You got it? This is the story that you write. And then you're going to email it to me, stories at emberville.com. And I'm going to read them out loud. You're going to take control for the first time. I give you 10 minutes. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. I started the timer. Start writing. Please mute me because I'll continue talking so you're not distracted. Set a timer yourself. In 10 minutes, I'm going to call you on it and we're going to be done. You ready? If it only takes you a few minutes, that's fine. It can be just a few sentences. But for the first time in your life, tell that person everything you wanted to tell them and get back at them as violently as you want. This is safe, guys. What we're doing is called fiction. You can't imagine revenge? Try. Really trust your pen. Just start typing. And if you're a mess, just start typing. Like what it's like. Yes, stories at emberville.com. Yeah, yes, yes, it's stories at emberville.com. Oh, hey, hey, Autumn, you guys got it? Start typing, start writing. So I'll explain to you why this works. Those of you who are writing, please mute me so I don't distract you because my voice, I'm going to keep talking. The reason why this works is think of this. You're watching a movie, right? In your movie, you're, um, you're a shark. You know, you're diving into the ocean. Like, let's say you're watching the movie Jaws, right? You're in there. You're like, you're feeling that you're in the, in the ocean, that you're there. But you're not. You're sitting on the couch, comfortable. Your brain doesn't know the difference when they read a book or you watch a movie because of storytelling. This is fiction. So your brain really thinks that you're in there with the shark in the ocean. That's why you freak out. That's when we watch horror movies, we jump out of, you know, out of our skin. So when you write this story, for the first time, your brain will feel, wow, you got back at your abuser. It will release all that shit, all that anger, all that, you know, hurt, all the pain. And this is why it's the daily self-love practice. Because you will get rid of a little bit of trash that somebody has put into you. It is not your trash that you're carrying, not your garbage. This is the garbage of another person. And you will get rid of it of a little piece. Remember, piano practice every day. We're practicing self-love. Okay? You're learning to love yourself. And by that, I mean you're learning to get rid of all of this trash that people put into you. So you can begin to even see who the fuck you are. Because you don't know who you are. Because people who hurt you, they literally have gone and they have shaped you to whatever the fuck they wanted to shape you, to use you as a tool. They were using you as a tool to get better, okay? Because it was cheaper 
and more entertaining than tools, you know, or pills or doctors. It was easier for them to see the pain on your face. That's why abusers abuse us because they get so numb because they feel nothing and it is excruciating. Thank you so much, Kaya. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Do you guys get it? So when you do this, you start taking it out. The reason why I healed, it's been 12 years, you guys. I started when I was 33 and I'm 45 now, is right here. You see, I've written five novels. Actually, I've written eight books altogether. I have also a trilogy. All of these books, okay, in here, I have hurt and murdered my parents, especially my father, multiple times, over and over and over again. And I say it every life, like literally, this is what healed me because it's safe. Because this is what allowed me to get all of that hurt, all of that pain. Oh, hi, Nikki. All of that rage out and to start loving myself. Because finally, for the first time, I was like, wow. After all of that was gone, I was like, this is me. Like even this, you guys, do you see this? I'm wearing pink. I have never had pink clothes as a girl. You know, I was growing up in Soviet Union and we didn't have fancy clothes or like my mother never dressed me in pink and I fucking love pink. Not like Barbie pink, but more like, you know, kind of peachy pink. I absolutely fucking love it. So oh, tell me the sequence of, of okay, I'm going to make a video of the sequence of reading my novels, but here's the sequence that I recommend. Hold on. Thank you for asking that question. So um, this is the first one when I am youngest. I'm 10 or 11 in here. Okay, the bad links. This is the second one when I'm 13 and I have ADD, ADHD, and neglected by parents. This is when I'm 15 and 16, when I'm a teenager and suicidal and I want to jump off a bridge or off a roof to end my life. This is when I'm 17 and I was a teen mom. I became pregnant and I ran away from home. Okay? Bad links. And this is when I'm in my 20s. And this is when I confronted my father about sexual abuse and he admitted to it and I kill him in this book. He's a ghost. And I'm writing my next one right now when I'm in my late 20s and it's about a serial killer. It's called The Dutch Murders. It's not finished yet, guys. I've been writing it for the last year. It's probably going to be done at the end of this year. So this is really my life story. I have rewritten my life. I have rewritten my life. I have had plastic surgery down on my face to not look like my dad. I have changed my name legally. I have cleaned off hair with, with electrolysis. I had a unibrow. I have deleted it. I have cleared out my forehead because I have Persian blood, you know, so I had like really a lot of hair in here. So long hair. I used to not have long hair. I had a nose job down because I had my father's nose. I have reinvented myself. I moved from a different country. I'm speaking to you in a language that is not my first language. I moved here in my 20s. I didn't move here as a child. I have completely changed my identity and I have healed. So I'm here for you to help you do the same. Okay, so all of my books is my life story. And this is what we're doing in Emberville. Join my community because you can rewrite your life. You literally can do what I did. Okay. You can write a whole book. You can't. You don't have to be a writer to do it. That's what we do. And today what we're doing, this little exercise is going to show you that. So if you guys, you have three minutes left. Those of you who are writing, three minutes left. Yes, you, you rewrite. Yes, you exactly. Guys, look at this comment. That's beautiful. Amy, Amy Bell, one, 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 one. Everybody read it. So basically we rewrite our story as a movie or something like that. Yes, exactly. But in your movie, you get back at your abusers as violently as you want. Did I connect with my parents? No. My father basically cut me out of his life and denounced me. I, the last time I spoke to him was when I confronted him on the phone. That was uh, 12 years ago. And my mom is a, my mom is not well. She's in a really hard place. I am myself right now not financially stable uh, to support her, to be able to support her because... Just as I was starting to make money, I put all of my money into my startup, Emberville. And right now, I'm not, I'm not making any money. I'm actually sinking myself deeper into debt because I can't pay myself yet. So I can't pull my mom. And she is really poor. She's in a really bad place. And I learned that I need to take care of myself first. So first, I have to financially be stable myself. Then I'll be able to help my mom. It's breaking my heart. But at the same time, my mom abused me 
not as severely as my dad. It was only verbal and physical abuse. However, she neglected me a lot. And she has, every time I call her back in Russia, it is very difficult for me to talk to her. Uh, she's a child and I'm a parent most of the time. So I have to parent her. And I, you know, I don't get to talk about how, how I am or she can't ask me. She's in survival. So how did I heal from depersonalization? Yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, financial. Yes, 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 yes. I guys, I will make a video. I'll make a video on financial abuse because I've been through it. Guys, I've been through bankruptcy. I've been through some awful shit. How can you join the Zoom? Um, Ramsha will tell you, but basically there's a link in my bio. Guys, we're going to update my whole link tree in my bio so you can go and click on all the links. Thank you for your patience. We haven't done that yet. Uh, the link is in here. The actual link that you can click, it says Emberville dash free circle. This is where you, uh, yeah, you have to take care of yourself first, Nikki. That's correct. Okay, I got the first story. Guys, you have one minute left. Okay, send me the stories. It's going to be story time. I'm going to start reading. Where can you order my books? On my website. Uh, hang on. Ramsha, can we do, uh, hold on. So it's www.kasenyanski.com. Do you guys see my name? Kasenyanski. Just put kasenyanski.com. That's my website. This is where you can order my books. Uh, if you order them from my website, the money goes to me directly. You can order them cheap. And also I sign it, you know, and I print it better. If you order it from uh, Amazon, it's cheaper. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're tight on money. Or you can also get ebooks on Amazon. Okay, you got it? All right, you guys. I'm going to open my email. I'm going to start reading stories. So... Tell me, tell me who sent me the story. Okay, I got, whoa, I got, let's see, I got two stories so far. Those of you who are writing, I have 20 seconds left. You guys got to wrap it up. Do you need more time? Those of you who are writing, how many stories am I getting? Who is done writing? Raise your hand. I got two stories so far. So raise your hand. How many more stories am I getting? Who is writing? You wrote, but you're not ready to share. That's fine. By the way, if you want to share just with me, so time is up you guys time yes i got it i got yours autumn you need more time take your time so i'm here for uh another 10 minutes if i don't get to your story send it to stories at emberville.com anyway if you're writing ramsha is gonna reply to you and gonna read those stories ramsha tell hi to everybody guys ramsha is fucking amazing ramsha is like I love Ramsha to death. Ramsha is our social media intern. She's doing social media. So Ramsha is going to reply to you if I can't. And we're going to read those stories live on TikTok tonight. You need more time? Keep writing. Keep writing. Just make sure that you send it after you're done to stories at emberville.com. Okay, so I'm going to read the first story, guys. You got, I got the first one from uh, about the Queen Bee. Oh, I got three stories. Okay, so who wrote the story about Queen Bee? Just tell us who you are. If you're sending us a story, please add your TikTok name in the story so we can call you out. Okay, I forgot. Ramsha, we need to make a form. We need to make a form for people. Send the story with the steps and then... Oh, it's you? Pokemon Ho! That was you? Queen Bee. Okay, guys, are you ready? Everybody clap to Pokemon Ho! Okay, I'm gonna read the story. The queen bee saw that the man-child was trying to attack the hive and her hurt. So she stung the man-child repeatedly until he was sore and bleeding. And she ripped off the wings of the worker bees who stood by and watched and didn't help her. Right on. Look at this. A story in one sentence. Yes. Oh my God, you did it. Queen bee. Do you guys see this? That's amazing. Oh my god do you guys see this this is how did it make you feel you fucking yeah you ripped off the wings of the worker bees who watched and didn't help her you guys i know exactly what this is about did you guys feel it i feel it in my gut hey uh hey ay uh oh pokemon ho how did it make you feel writing it how did it make you feel getting back at your abuser pokemon ho tell us Oh, you didn't hear it? Okay, maybe you're coming in late. I just read it. Right? Do you see how easy it is? It's just in one sentence. 
Pokemon Ho, how did it make you feel writing it? Just tell, oh, thank you for the gift. Yeah, tell us, oh, thank you, thank you so much for another present or gift. Okay, so where do we write? You write um, in your own little, you know, in the email. It feels good. Look at this, guys. Pokemon Ho says, it feels good, honestly. Felt amazing to hear you read it. Have everyone here. This is the point, guys. This is what we do in Emberville. Uh, Ramsha, can you please tell Rivali what we're doing? I think Rivali came in late. Uh, okay, guys, are you ready for the next story? Next story is by Autumn. Autumn, are you here? If you're here, I'm going to read your story. Okay, you ready? Okay, next story. This is a little longer, so you can see an example. Okay? I was born in prison, never given a name, and all I know is that I'm a shadow. The only way I know I exist is because every few days the light visits me. When the light visits, I can see my form, my shadow, my existence. The light, however, is wicked. It shines so brightly I cannot see, think, or hear. It blindfolds me, ties me up at the hands and feet, and lashes me with its power. When the light is around, I sometimes forget my shadow. I forget I exist because it consumes everything and anything. What the light doesn't know is that when I am alone, I am nothing and everything at all at once. I can be anything I want because without the light, I have no form. So I decided to end the light, to not let it come back the next time, to beat, use, and abuse me. The next, the next time the light returned, I hid in the corner. I made myself small and I didn't cast my shadow in this light. But instead, I snuck around the light and locked it in my prison. A place with nothing but darkness and no forms to cast shadows upon. I am the source now and the light is nothing. Holy shit. Do you guys, my skin, I have chills. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Woo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Autumn, this was fucking, oh my God, look at this. Look at this Frenchie baby. This is Frenchie baby. It made you shake and cry. I'm super proud of you. Guys, please, everybody send love to Frenchy Baby. Everybody, please send love to Frenchy Baby. Holy shit, Frenchy Baby. That was great writing. You took the power back. Yes, it's okay if it's a letter to your abuser. Send it to me. Send it to me anyway. Oh my God, you guys. Do you see? This is amazing. Holy shit. Yes. Yeah, I felt it in my bones too. Yeah. Thank you, Autumn. This was amazing. Please, everybody send love to Frenchy Baby. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, I got another story. I got to read two more stories. Yeah, you're, you're amazing. What's going on? Ask Ramsha. Ramsha will tell. Okay, I'm reading the next one. You guys, I have two more and I have to hop off. Okay, two more. One. Uh, Yomna, Yomna, are you here? This is yours. Lily's abusers abused her physically and mentally and she let them because she loved them and she thought she owed them something and they made her feel like a burden for being alive and they kept pushing her off the edge but she pushed them back and they fell down the river and she let them go. Wow. Send it to stories at emberville.com. Wow, that's yours? A girl named Yomna? Oh my God. That was beautiful. Guys, this is from a girl. Please, everybody clap. Everybody send love to a girl named Yomna. Holy fucking shit. Wow, this was amazing. Did you guys feel that? And she let them go. You did it. You want to do this? Email me the story. Hold on, I'm looking at my calendar to make sure that I'm not missing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be a little late to the next meeting. Right? Okay, everybody send love to a girl named Yomna. Okay, I have another one. I have another one from Josh. Uh, Anon Central. Hey, Anon Central 88. I'm going to read. How can you send it? Send it to stories at emberville.com. It's in my bio. Link in my bio. Ramsha, if you see people asking how they can send it, please give them the email. Okay, are you guys ready for this? 
I have the next one. Uh, this is handwritten, so I might be really slow. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Annie. I love you so much. So I'm going to read it slowly, probably, because it's if you write it by hand, make sure you write it so it's legible. You guys ready? This is by Anon Central 88. Are you here? Anon Central 88, I'm about to read your story. I'm about to read your story. Okay, just wave to us. Say as you're here. Are you here? Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing you, but hopefully you're still here. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, one more. The adept one was enjoying a nice day at home when his mother started crying. His mother then got her kids together and told them that Baba Yaga wouldn't come home anymore. The adept one was very close to the Baba Yaga. So the sudden disappearance left the adept one at a young age, and that caused a very difficult journey to begin with. The adept one soon started to blame the Baba Yaga. The adept one then tracked the Baba Yaga down to speak to them after so many years. The adept one and they just told him, thank you for setting my path. The adept one and the just one told him to thank you for setting my path. I hope I read this correctly. Wow, thank you so much. So the adept one is the hero and the Baba Yaga is the villain. And you have a shadow on me. Thank you so much for writing this. I hope I read it correctly. Handwriting is a little harder for me to read. Are you here? A non-central 88? You track down the your abuser? Holy shit. Yes, of course I said your name, Annie. I hope it is your correct name. Thank you. Oh, I got one more. I got one more. Whew. All right, you guys. Uh, one more in the Google Doc. Perfect. Okay, let me see if I can open it. Oh, oh, this is a good one. You guys, are you ready? It's going to be the last one. I got to go in three minutes for a meeting. So that was amazing, right? Thank you. So, okay, one more. Wow, guys, this is an amazing story. Are you ready? You ready for one more? Yes, if you're a short pancake ghoul, please send it to me anyway. If I can't read it now, I'm going to read it after. Ramsha is also going to read it. Ramsha is here. And we're going to reply and I'm going to read it at the next live. Okay, you guys ready for this? This is amazing. This is by um, Pufferfish. Hey, Pufferfish, if you're here, I'm about to... Oh, this is yours? Is this yours, Pufferfish? About the uh, Violet Wolf Gong? Is this yours? Pancake Ghoul, is this yours? Oh, uh, official Molly Manifest, you send it to stories at emberville.com. Click on my name. It's in my bio, the email. It is yours. Okay, great. That's a different email. That's fine. Guys, do you see Pancake Ghoul? By the way, I fucking love Pancake Ghoul. Everybody send love to Pancake Ghoul because I'm about to read Pancake Ghoul's story. The last story of today. I'm going to be live again tonight, 9 to 10 p.m. Thank you, official. And um, and then come to my free circle and Zoom, join my community. Follow Ramsha, ask, ask Ramsha all the questions. Okay. Clean up your room, Vile growled. Wolfgang whimpered in exasperation. It's not even messy. Clean it right now. Wolfgang clicked his jaw from side to side, his teeth grinding like tectonic plates scraping against each other. No, he said. What the fuck did you say? Vial snapped. Wolfgang's jaw clicked again, teeth crunching. I said no. You don't get to talk to me like that. Vial's eyes blazed. His face got red, red hot and angry for blood. I get to talk to you however the fuck you want. However the fuck I want. I... Wilde tried to say, but Wolfgang cut him off. No, you don't. You know what? I've been scared of you my whole life, but you should be scared of me. How are you going to feel when I call CPS on your ass and you never see me again? Vile hesitated. His face was full of his craving for blood, but somehow he knew he'd been beat. I'm stronger than you, and whatever you try to do to me, said Vile, you know you can't hurt me. Because I bite back, bitch. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! What an ending! Holy shit, you guys! That was amazing! Yeah, you tell Wolf Wolfgang, you go! I know! Holy shit, that was cool! Yes, yes, yes! Pancake Ghoul, you rock! This was amazing! Yes, please, more! Can we have a whole story of Wolfgang? I want a whole book. Come join Emberville. We can help you write a book and then help you publish it. 
Not as Amazon. We don't do ISBN or any of that. But help you put into a beautiful book shape so you can share it with the world. Holy shit, thank you. Ramsha, please get a hold of Pancake Goal. Because that was amazing. Yeah, everybody, follow Pancake Goal. Send direct messages. Send your love. Because this is amazing. Guys, please follow each other. We're a community, okay? We're building community. Yes, comment from... Okay, I, I gotta go. I have my next meeting. Please follow Ramsha and ask Ramsha any questions. Ramsha is going to be here, but I got to go. I'm going to see you tonight at, at 9 p.m. Pacific time, okay? All right, see you guys. Bye.